And joining me now is Ventura County's own former NFL player, Lorenzo Booker. Thanks so much for coming in and recapping week one. Definitely. Well, Lorenzo was also out at the Ventura Cougars game uh, against Agora. Mm -hmm. It was a really close game in the first half. The, the touchdowns were really going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about this first half. It was definitely exciting. I mean, players made plays on both sides of the ball, but I thought there were a lot more similarities than not. Um, both defense decided to come out in the two deep shell with the safeties back deep. Five yards of depth almost for the linebackers. That creates a problem mm -hmm. for your defensive linemen, but a great thing for the offense because it opened up big running lanes for both teams. I mean, Christian Williams for Agora had 120 plus yards, two touchdowns in the first half alone. That's a lot of production for a running back in two quarters of play. Well, let's talk about Ventura's bread and butter. That would be their senior running back, Tyler Peralta. Now, he ran for over 300 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Definitely did. I think we got out here in Ventura County, we just saw our own version of beast mode. <laughs> He's not out there just in Seattle. I mean, the guy was out there playing like his hair was on fire. And it just seemed like each carry, he got stronger and stronger. You really saw him put Ventura on his back in the second half and win the game. And it wasn't just on offense. Uh, he took a fake punt down into Agora's territory, which eventually led to a score and a, and a 10 point lead that really blew the game open for Ventura. So I think we saw the heartbeat uh, of the 2 0 Cougars last night. But Ventura, I noticed, didn't throw the ball much in the first half but second half a different story that would be because Tyler Smith got involved is that right I thought that was the biggest adjustment uh, it, the whole game was was a chess match on both sides of the ball both coaches called a pretty good game which is why it was tight at first but I thought Ventura's adjustment to get Tyler Smith more involved which created more balance for Ventura and it really started midway through the second quarter when he hit Chase Gardner on a long touchdown pass he hit Zach Sauerwein on two more in the second half and the balance between him and and Tyler Peralta really proved to be the difference for Ventura in the year. Okay, so in memory of Joan Rivers, who passed away on Thursday, we have to do a fashion police. <laughs> Can we talk about those pants? Holy moly. You know, I have to say, I took a picture and put it on my Instagram. Not the hot little item on Instagram. There are a lot of haters out there, although there was one person, Mr. Tyler Ebel, who was the only one on my Instagram that was like, wow, those are fresh. I am jealous. I could have really made those pants look good, right? Well, I've got to say, I, I like the pants, but I thought they could have been more consistent with the, with the jersey. How? Um, they, if you're going to go camo with the lower, you got to add a little bit up oh, to the top. I mean, okay. and, and I'm not surprised that Tyler, the jet, got involved. I mean, that dude was look good, feel good, play good, so he, he knows all about that. I, I, I dig the pants, Ventura. I really dig the pants, especially <laughs> when you see them from afar. They look like cougar pants. They did. They did. I, I, but I'm going to have to side with my man Jet on that. I like the old school the um, old school cougar uniforms a little so bit. So we won't see you in any camouflage, right? Probably not. All Probably right. Not. Well, you heard it. You heard it right here. No camouflage <laughs> from Mr. Lorenzo. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Definitely. Thank you.